Here, let's keep going and let's see how much she follows now. Come on, Bev. Here she goes. This is like sissy. This is the this is the sissy of the pasture. Sorry, Laverne. Here, let's go a little faster. Sorry, watch out! Goat. Watch out, Nanny Goat. Here we go a little bit faster. Look! Oh no no no! Oh no, Beverly! Beverly, stop it, Bev! No! Oh no, oh. Beverly! Oh no, Beverly! No no no! Bev, stop it! Bev, stop! No 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 no! Bev, stop 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 stop! Oh no! Poor Cornholio, are you okay, buddy? Look at look at Cornholio. He's like, <gasps> what happened? <gasps> Poor no! Oh no! He getting a taste of his yeah, own medicine. He's mean to everybody. Not mean, but he follows everybody and pesters everybody. He's getting a taste of his own medicine. Well, I think Bev wants to be the star of the show. Beverly, you're gonna have to share some screen time with Cornholio. Beverly has really come out of her shell, guys. I kid you not. I made a video about this before. Y'all remember how shy she was? She wouldn't really let anybody pet her. I guess you could say she was unfriendly for that matter. I don't know. Whenever you hear that bell, you know danger's approaching. Ringo, please don't try to hurt anybody today. Ringo already hurt Megan once today. He just rammed her for absolutely no reason whatsoever. <laughs> Thank you. It's like he's whispering. And this right here is not a whisperer. This right here is anything but calm. No, guys, no, 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 no. Oh, no, he's trapped me in the corner. No. Ringo has trapped me in the corner. This is very bad. Ring Cornelio, show him his boss. Help me. Not like Cornelio could do anything to Ringo anyways. Oh, this is so bad. Watch out, watch out. <laughs> Megan's getting donkey love over there. Beverly is so jealous. Beverly will not let you stop petting her. Good girl. Beverly will not let you stop giving her attention. No, and then Ivy gets jealous and comes yeah. and hits my other side. Beverly gets jealous of anything else and then Ivy gets Bev uh, jealous of Beverly. Don't do it. What is you, he doing? I don't know. He's like, I don't know what he's doing. You know, like I don't want to restrain him because I know he's like just he's being very sweet right now. You know, he's not jealous. No, I was gonna say her. She's looking at us. Yeah. She does that thing with her nostrils that like some kids can do. Some kids can do that thing where they make their nostrils like go up and down. I don't, I, I don't have control over those individual muscles, so I can't do it, but some people can. Is Cornholio doing it again? Look at Cornholio's mannerisms, guys. I'm not even going to talk. I'm just going to let you watch. It's kind of intriguing to just sit here quietly and watch the stuff that he does. Look at his mouth in particular. Well, there he goes after Megan, so that kind of ruins that. Yeah, it kind of ruins that when he's going after you. Oh, Newton wants attention too. Everybody wants attention. Ivy wants attention. Oh, Ivy. I saw you following me. Ringo, no, please no, Ringo. Fine, I'll pet you. I'm petting you between your horns like you like. This little spot in the middle of his uh, horns, on, on kind of on the top of his head, is his favorite spot to be petted on. Just a random fun fact about Ringo. Probably all goats in general, because every goat I've done that to loves it. I've never met one goat that doesn't like being petted in this little spot right here, little crease between the horns. You know what's crazy is that actually those all the ducks and the geese are scared of Cornholio. Even ha by how much they outnumber him, they still are scared of him. Yeah, he's not even like that aggressive or anything. Yeah, Beverly. Beverly's the the showstopper. No, not that's not the right word. Beverly steals the show. Star of the show. She, she yeah, she's she is the star of the show. This came out of nowhere. This is this is honestly the last character on the farm I would have ever expected to be a hit and to kind of be in the spotlight. When this girl was a baby, she was anything but um, 
I guess, attention seeking, anything but friendly for that matter. She would not let anybody touch her, let anybody pet her. She'd only follow her mama around, but now she's done, left her mama over there to stare at the cows while she's over here getting pets from the people. Cause she loves the attention. Beverly's done changed a lot, yeah. And like Megan said, once she gets all this uh, young baby fur off of her, she's gonna look just like her mama. Her undercoat is really dark. Her undercoat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can't really see it super good, but yeah, you can kind of see it's darker under there. So once the, we'll call it the upper coat or whatever, once that comes off, she'll be just like Mama Imogene. Please don't bite. Look at Annie, oh, look at Annie staring at us, just peeking her head around the corner. <laughs> she's just inspecting. She's just making sure everything's good. She's the grandma here. She's the one in charge. Ivy, Ivy getting jealous. Ivy's really jealous today. It's very random as well. I don't know. One of those just has his mouth wide open, so derpy. He's so <laughs> Maybe because I have the phone out, he's not doing it entirely, but just watch his mouth. Watch the stuff that he does with his mouth. They, they can't make up their mind. They want attention, but then once they realize attention means they have to be touched, they're like, eh, nah, never mind. Then they forget. They have like three-second memory spans the way that goldfish do. Could you imagine having a three-second memory span? Imagine how difficult it would be going through life that way. Yeah. I read on Cool Facts that goldfish have a memory span of three seconds. So just imagine being like that. Being like, I want attention. Oh, wait, no. Ah, wait, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, I want attention again. No, nah, no, I don't. And then you just repeat that cycle over and over and over your entire life. Why are you, are you being like that? You're trying to grab me Beverly. to get attention. She's just like nibbling on like the back of my arm. And then every time I look at her, she stops. And then when I look away, she nibbles again. She's being sneaky. She's being inconspicuous. <coughs> but she knows Ellie don't care. So Ellie, she knows I don't care. She comes up to me. Annie in the background. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. Both Annies are right there, actually. Both Annies are in frame right now. Annie Goat and Annie Alpaca are both sitting there just staring. <laughs> Who's that? I can never tell Tiny Tim or Peggy apart. Except for, oh, that's, that's Peggy because Tiny Tim has tusks and that pig right there does not have any tusks. Oh, this is be interesting. Another example of why uh, mothers don't really recognize their babies after they've been separated for a while because one of Peggy's babies right here doesn't look, doesn't look like she either knows or wants anything to do with him. I tried to speed up. Beverly, you gotta be kidding me. Bev, you gotta be joking right now. Beverly and Ivy, what is it with you two today? What Really, what is it with y'all two today? Ivy, do you want to take over this baby too? You want this to be the second baby of Imogene's you steal and claim for yourself? You guys are nuts. You guys are so funny though. And guys, look, this right here is the new Ivan. Beverly will not stop following me. I bet I even go a little faster and watch what happens. I'm like the Pied Piper, guys. Oh no, she sees, she sees chickens and she's intrigued. And now she sees a turkey and she's intrigued. Oh, Bev. I'm gonna title this video something to do with Beverly, the showstopper. Girl. Beverly has a starstruck. All right, guys. Well, I guess with that said, I hope you all enjoyed. Be sure to let me know in the comments what kind of stuff you want to see. Hope you have a great day. And as I always say, your boy Ali out.